students, my name is Piyusha. I hope you all must be doing well. And since you just have a month left for your board exams, I expect that you all must be well prepared for your boards. Did I hear a no? Well, those of you who answered my question in negative, I fully understand your situation. This academic year has been really challenging both for the teaching community as well as the students. Now, considering that in mind, I've come up with this video wherein I'll tell you how you can easily score 65 to 68 marks out of 70 in your chemistry boards 2021. Now, your chemistry paper is divided into two sections. Paper 1 is theory, which comprises of 70 marks. Paper 2 is practical, comprising of 30 marks. I'll make a separate video for practical exams. Right now, we'll only restrict ourselves to the theory paper. Now, talking about chemistry, it is bifurcated into three divisions in class 12. You have physical chemistry, you have inorganic chemistry, and you have organic chemistry. Talking about the weightage, physical chemistry consists of 25 marks, inorganic carries 20 marks, and organic again carries 25 marks, which makes it up 70. Now, in physical chemistry, you have five lessons, giving it an average weighting of five marks per lesson. You have solid state solutions, electrochemistry, kinetics, surface chemistry. And trust me, you can easily target these lessons. Reason behind, these are based on absolutely simple concepts. You have direct formulas. Council is asking of questions uh, wherein you can simply apply the formula and you can get your answers easily. Of course, there are certain laws which they can ask you. So this portion of a chemistry can be easily targeted and you will not require more than 10 days to target the entire five lessons. Coming to inorganic chemistry. Here we have four chapters and if I talk about the length of the lessons, they are too lengthy. But again, particularly in inorganic chemistry, you need strategies to crack. All right. You don't need to study the entire lessons since you just have a month left. You just need to study the basic concepts somewhere or the other P, D and F block elements are related. And council is very fond of asking you questions related to exceptions. They will never ask you the normal properties of S, P, D, F block elements. What they'll ask you is if in case an element deviates from the original property, what are the exceptions related to it? The council is very fond of asking such questions. All right. So this portion of chemistry, you have to study with all strategies, all knacks. And in our upcoming crash course, we'll definitely, you know, simplify that for you. Coming to organic chemistry. Organic chemistry has seven chapters. And uh, this is the portion, uh, you know, uh, because of uh, which students are really dreaded and they uh, believe that organic chemistry is the toughest part of chemistry reason being a single chapter can be of 100 pages and so on but this i would say is the simplest part of your entire chemistry this can be summed up trust me in more less than 20 hours 20 hours means uh, you can just you just need two days and you are uh, you can easily you know target your organic chemistry what you need to create is, this is very common and very popular these days, you must have heard I believe earlier, that is called as organic roadmap or you can also call it a concept map. We start from the easiest or the simplest material and then we keep on doing conversions, how the material is converted into a different material altogether. Now in organic chemistry, if you see, the reactions are very much interchangeable. Yes, you can... Uh, uh, see in case of alcohols, aldehydes, even in case of alkanes. So all these are ultimately conversions. So if in case you prepare the organic roadmap really well, if you prepare this concept map really well, you can target organic chemistry easily. Second thing which you need to prepare in organic chemistry is named reactions. You have a handful of named reactions. You have Canizaro, Rosonman, Aldol condensation, many others. So the council is fond of asking named reactions and in your exams, you will definitely, definitely get uh, two to three named reactions. Okay, so named reactions and your organic roadmap are the only two things that you need to target organic chemistry. All right, now uh, all these will be covered in our upcoming crash course and I hope to see you there. Till then, bye-bye, take care and thank you.